Hey everyone, it's that time again. Love it or not, it's time for Valentine's Day. And that's why this month my message to you is a message of love. What is one thing that you love about yourself? Or if you're a person with a disability, what's one thing that you love about your disability? Now, when you think of a disability, most people don't necessarily think, what do you mean? I love about my disability? How could you love something about your disability? But I want you to reframe your thinking. Don't look at your disability as a disadvantage, if that happens to be your case. Look at it as your advantage of being who you are and shaping who you become. And that's why, with it being February and a time of love and appreciation, I think it's time to love and appreciate ourselves. You know, we get so busy with our work weeks and other commitments that we often forget that there has to have time to love yourself, who you are, and what you contribute to this world. And so, really, my message is simple. What is one thing that you love about yourself and that you would really be willing to get vulnerable and share with everyone. Now, if you're willing to be brave and share that with us at the Cerebral Palsy Association through social media um, and making, making a post or even just posting an image or even just a message of love and appreciation, I think it's the perfect time to do that. You know, if I were to say anything about myself just to kind of start that message off that I love it's that my willingness to always look at things from a positive light. Uh, as I've said in previous messages, it's really easy to get stuck in some of the turmoil and some of the things that are going on in the world, but there's very easy also to refocus and allow yourself to remember that no matter what's going on around you, there's always a capacity for love. So I look forward to hearing what you have to say about what you love about yourself and uh, and please share those messages if you feel brave to do so. And I can't wait to talk with all of you again next month.